Okay, so we are playing Deathwish this time. Well, I say this time, we're playing Deathwish pretty much every video I've done on this channel. But no, we're playing uh, the bank. Definitely an up from White Christmas, which I don't know, it's just as difficult, but yeah. Okay, here we go. Just to make sure that this does count towards a loud run through, I'm going to make sure that I don't use the drill until the alarm goes off. Just, uh, you know, so it's nothing invalid. Where can I? Yeah, just sneak right through it. Suspicious activity? I've never heard of such things. Well, oh, looks like he's gonna start shooting. The door closed? Oh, hell yes! Oh, yeah, and it's supposed to start the drill. Cool. Here we go. And, may as well. <laughs> oh my god, he just wrecked that guy. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh, no matter, ties. The, um... Perks in this build, or the skills rather, were ones that I have been working on for a decent amount of time. The build is essentially revolving around this pistol, and really I could have picked any pistol, but I picked this one just because of its concealment, which meant that I was able to go just into basic Sneaky Bastard and I don't remember the other perk's name, but it was the one with the critical hit chance when it comes down to concealment. So this build actually has a detection risk of 4 out of 75 points, which means that it's one from lowest. And that means that I still gain the full advantage of Sneaky Bastard and the other one without having to have the bloody things aced. Plus there weren't any attachments I needed for either of these guns. Um, so we were good on that aspect. Not too sure why either of these guys are back. Oh, yes. Now, the specific perks that I chose were ones that were designed to increase rate of fire, reload speed, damage of this pistol, accuracy, other such things. Quite important. I made sure absolutely 100% that all of them were accounted for. Nothing that I've got in this build is a waste, except for maybe a couple of points I spent on the mastermind skills, uh, just so I could go up in the tiers. A couple of really useless perks on solo. I believe we have a Skulldozer. I put that Molotov at uh, the front just to make sure they didn't free any civvies or create a new clogged up route or try filling up the lobby whilst I wasn't there. Because it does take some time to repair the drill, which leaves you kind of exposed. Not gonna lie, that was really easy. Oh, that isn't though. Be my distractor. Oh no. 
thing is, though, it's not finished yet. Oh, yeah. I just slaughtered a couple of civvies. Good chance that the extra damage these guys are going to get on me now is going to down me. Wow. Fortunately, the damage I just did on those cops was massive. Molotov, in case you guys needed a tip, is a very good throwable to combine with Grinder. Because you're constantly doing damage. And I mean, like, constantly just doing damage with the Molotov out. And it does count. And in case you're wondering, yes, I just did that. I didn't know I was going to do that. I'm just too good. The build also revolves around the cavity 9mm, in case you couldn't tell. This thing is a tank. Like, honestly, this is the, I think, the best DLC weapon these guys have ever made. Because of just how powerful it is. It's concealment, it's damage, it's... Total ammo count ain't that great, I will admit. It's two clips, basically. But with the two clips have 33 bullets in each, there, it's powerful. And the amount of ammo you'll be picking up from the cops you're killing means that you don't use, usually have to use ammo bags. Which, obviously, is just a massive plus to using this thing. Uh, right now I'm just grabbing ammo, uh, I'm not grabbing too much, but it's never a waste the ammo bag because you're only using what you don't have. I'm oh, being shot from. Shall we? I'm constantly making sure that I'm not being shot out from behind here because the, the place downstairs is actually overrun. I'm trying to make sure that I don't... Oh, we didn't... Oh, smoke grenades making it hard to see what I'm killing. Oh, yes. Whilst I have a civilian, the assault wave should be delayed by a long time. Oh, this is good. Oh, that's not good, though. Both of the doses are upstairs. Okay, so the place should be gassed in a sec. That? The gas, the gas, will, well, the place will be gassed twice. Oh, my God. <laughs> I only just looked at the face cam. I look like a right knob for the most of <laughs> Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I fail now. Just so I don't have to show that stupidity of the face cam. And second one. Don't know what the second one is. But maybe maybe I killed the second guy. Because I'm pretty sure they carry the um, gas tank separately. I don't know. I never usually go up on the roof. Okay, here's what I want to do. Those boards were designed specifically for that one cop that already jumped in. No, but I'm doing that just to block being shot at by the turret. It probably won't even matter because when it when it comes down to dodge builds, turrets favour them. Like literally, you could run in front of a turret, you could be there for a while before it starts actually landing shots on you. I'm pretty sure that the turret has like a set amount of bullets it's supposed to miss with dodge builds before it even counts dodge. You're a problem. Now, usually I'd wait to use the Molotov. Uh, I'm gonna go down. I've got to fight. Even if you fight, it's still full. So there should be a cop up here I can pistol on the side a second time. And... Boop. May as well use this. I mean, I could use grinder, but I need a quick fix. Wow. He took nothing from that Molotov. Usually they sort of sit in it for a bit till they lose their visor. No more babysitting. See where he went. He should have tried following me up if I, if I remember correctly. 
quickly take some damage. Oh, bugger. No, that ain't good. I should have saved my Molotov for this. I can't sit out the drill, I have to... Damn, damn, damn. That ain't good. I have to give it another attempt soon. Wow. Alright, there he is. That's good. Uh, I like how they follow me. It definitely, like, when it comes down to bulldozers, you tend to have to... Oh, I'm, it's over. It's over. It's, it's fucking over. I can't see. I needed... I was debating about whether or not I should invest in those kinds of perks. And I said, no, I won't need it. I can just sit in a corner and wait it out. I can't see! Why can't I? I'm on the stairs! How did I get here? I need to credit myself more, Jesus. It was alright. But for a dude I can see. So I think like 15 seconds or so. being shot at wasn't too bad of a feat after all, I suppose. Oh, come on! No, Jesus! <laughs> Just got pounded. Really? I just need to wait out the assault at this point. That's all I really should do. Right, looks like I'm going to have to rely on critical hits. At this point, I'm going to have to add 30% critical hit chance each time. That's what the, the bright orange shots are. Oh. Plucker. No, I want to use the... Come on, come on. Oh. Come on, third time charm. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Yes! How many times have I used that? I don't remember. Yes! Against all odds, right? Wow. Okay. Definitely a lot harder than White Christmas. Absolutely. I need to rethink this build. Dealing with bulldozers is starting to be a bit iffy. Maybe I just throw out Sneaky Bastard altogether. 10% dodge. Gone. And then I get myself a proper primary weapon. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, guys. I've been Foxy. Foxes. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.